Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to a little bit of a potpourri of a video. Uh, I have some creating to show you. I have a happy meal to show you and I have a thrift shop haul to show you. So let's jump in, shall we? This is, um, this is just from last night. So let me, let me pop that in my journal before I get too far distracted and I haven't done journaling for yesterday yet. So, okay, let me show you, well, let me show you this first because this I am absolutely in love with. I am in love with it and I don't even know what it is. I'm trying to zoom you in, but I really, I can't cause it's ginormous. So here we go. I, um, in my avoidance of adulting this week, because <laughs> I am conscious um, of that, I have just wanted to make a journal. I am in love with the um, envelopes from like Amazon, and I wanted to just make a journal. Now, so I got, I got an Amazon envelope that came, not that I'm short on those, um, and I had been collecting a couple bits like this one that I just felt like I need a creative place to put stuff. Now I have, I don't think, I mean like my glue book is this big. I do think I once had a journal this big. I'm looking up at my shelf 2019. We had the giant green monster. Um, I, this is huge for me. So this is not going to be a daily journal. So let's, it's a foot, it's 12 inches tall and nine nine um wide all i did was fold this envelope in half i created a little bit of a uh, binding i don't i mean it's like half an inch it's three quarters of an inch maybe ish i don't know it is what it is i just folded it <laughs> so and then i went through my stash and i grabbed some paper now my my thought what i wanted I, I don't have. <laughs> and I know, I know. And I was like, I'm going to go get some because I wanted like thinner paper, not even this, like that recycled thin paper that crunchies, like I don't have any. And I went through my stash. What I do have is quite a bit of, um, let me move that. I have literally packs of ledger paper, different ledgers, and, um, I did find one pad of paper. That's like a children's just art pad. That was kind of cheap. You can see it's a little yellowed around the edges. Um, and some notebook papers. And so I just pulled what I had. Some of the ledgers were very, very long and some of them weren't, they were just normal size. So I took some masking tape and I literally taped it together like junk journal jamboree over here. Okay. Just really, um, this is a page out of another kind of like, um, huh, I know exactly what this is from. This is from an old art book, a sketchbook of my grandfather's from 19. It's dated 1976, I believe. And he didn't fill it up. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to fill it up. Like I, I have the book to have the book, you know what I'm saying? And to have his artwork in there, but I don't, I'm, and so I pulled some papers from that anyway. So these are, the, these are ones I didn't use because as I got building this thing, I was just so excited, but I was like, I don't even know. I literally don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm going to give you a quick little glimpse. I mean, first of all, just, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Now I did grab some scrapbook paper that I had um, tea stained or coffee dyed. I can't remember which. You guys have seen it before. It's bright. They were spring colors, which is not my jam. And so I coffee dyed them a while ago. And so I grabbed some for this book. These are literally just folded in half, obviously, to get like a different layer here. And then I had a little jar of acrylic white paint from that haul like two years ago. I think it was thrift store haul number two. It's like done, done, done. I mean, eh, 
I might have enough for the back on here. I'll get it out of the trash. How about that? But so I just literally uh, took, you know, some water in my beautiful, oh, my beautiful paintbrush. Um, and whatever, grunged it up, the masking tape. And then I tied it together with some uh, wax thread. Uh, I don't know, you guys, but I'll tell you what, I freaking love it. Okay. I love it so much. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I have an idea what I want to use it for, but it's, it's like still coming together. So as I, I, I abs, can you hear it? So I did put some water and some paint on here to kind of like, you can see, see some of those lines kind of blurred. That's just school paper, right? That graph paper and really wide um, masking tape, which is like warped and whatever out of my husband's toolbox. Not even joking. It's super thick. It's thicker than I need it to be. So I made two signatures, like super quick. The thing that took the longest time, honestly, was the painting. I put some pages in upside down intentionally. Um, I love it. So I did make two signatures. And so this is the second signature. I haven't actually flipped it since yesterday when I closed it. So I'm hoping these, but I love that the pages, I, I love this book so much right now. This page was ripped. I just put masking tape on it. It's not to be pretty. I, I love it so much. So I'm hoping to do now it is not good paper. Like it's not thick at all. I'm hoping to do a little bit more art journaling in here or some other stuff that I have in mind, knowing that this is not like the paper you use for art journaling. Right. But I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I, I do like that I put a little bit of color in here. I like that the pages are different sizes and different. Um, you, there's my oven rack. See, this one didn't get paint. Like no paint, no paint. So I'll dig, I'll dig a little bit more in there. And then I grabbed an envelope from um, my stash and I just glued it into the back here and I tuck some things in. I've been going through looking at quotes, right? Grabbing quotes. And some of these kind of just spoke to me to put into a pile for like a certain thing. And that's what this journal's for. And, and so I need to like zhuzh the back as well. I, I, I love it. And I hope I use it. Um, I debated and I think I will probably, um, put a security thing here and an eyelet and a tie. I, I do think it's going to kind of need a tie, but oh my gosh, you guys, I'm in love with it. In love with it. Okay. So, uh, that's that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I mean, I have an idea, but I haven't created that thing yet. Okay. Then I went to my box yesterday and there was a piece of Happy Meal in there from Robin. So Robin, thank you so much. Now, Robin's address, I covered up, but this sweet little mail came to me and I live in Washington state. This sweet little piece of mail came to me from Tennessee, Tennessee. And so I texted my little Rue and I said, Rue, I love you so much. I just got a piece of mail from Tennessee and I'm just thinking about you. And so look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, Robin, you're so sweet. Yeah. So she's got this little stamp set and I like to cut anyway, so sweet, so thoughtful. All right. So we will open this and then I will show you my haul. I think that's yeah. Okay. So I can put that with my journal for right now. And then let me see. I just like to look at it off camera really quick. Oh my goodness. Really quickly. Um, Oh my goodness. And it's filled with yumminess. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we go. Well, this is interesting because I hope it's okay to read. Let's see. Um, it says, dear Allison, I wanted to express my appreciation for you and your channel. I love how you share your creative techniques. I really enjoyed the thrift store haul junk journals. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I have been junk journaling for just over a year. 
and I've learned a lot from watching you. I found junk journaling just as my nest was emptying out. I realized how fast the days go by and I wanted to capture the memories in a creative way. I love it when I see you have posted a new video. I laugh and sometimes shed a tear or two. Mm, thank you, friend. Thank you for sharing uh, yourself with others. I love listening to your voice and watching you clean off your desk. Oh my goodness. Or fiddle with your fodder box. <laughs> I feel blessed as if I'm spending time with you, an old friend. Oh, that is so thoughtful. Thank you so much. And it's a very thoughtful card and it says hello. And it just says, I thinking of you and hoping your little corner of the world is filled with good things. And I hope you enjoy these few little things. Thanks for inspiring us, your friend, Robin. Robin, that is so sweet. And look, look at this. That is so thoughtful. So very thoughtful. Um, oh my goodness. Now, um, now just please look at this. Look at that. Because um, if you know, you know, I am, we are, we are. Did you make this for me? You made this for me. You made this. <laughs> you are so thoughtful. We are in the process of... Um, I will admit grieving, um, obviously over the loss of my father, but also over, um, you know, some changes with my girl. And so she has decided to, to switch schools and she will be attending Tennessee next year. And so, um, look at that Tennessee orange. Oh my goodness. I love it. Uh, I am starting to gather a, a pile of kind of some orangey. I'm going to, something's happening and I don't know what it is, but my creative brain is kind of like making, making this right. So, um, Robin, that is so sweet of you. You guys, this is like a piece of paper with some orange tape on it. And then she hand drew and I have to look to make sure you did. Yep. Um, a T on there. I mean, so simple and so thoughtful. Thank you so much. That is just that just speaks to my heart. Thank you so much. Okay. Look at all these other yummies. Okay. <gasps> Look at that. Okay. I know nothing about Tennessee except um, like Nashville is there. We did tour Tennessee like three years ago when she was looking at schools. Um, it's always been her like number one, number two pick. Um, so like Nashville's the capital and then she'll be in Knoxville which is, I guess, three hour drive, maybe. Um, this is so dang cute. Look at that. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Now, ironically, um, we may be all be making a trip down to Tennessee this summer because we have to move her into her new place. And my son is actually going to Tennessee for his girlfriend's family trip this summer. And he's going to drive from Washington over here, down to Tennessee for the vacation, and then from Tennessee down to South Carolina. Um, and so we may all just be going. I, I have a feeling there'll be carloads of stuff. And um, anyway, yeah, look at this. Oh, dear gosh. So as I sit here, uh, it is not raining, but we've had some beautiful sunny days, but we are not done with the rain. So this Pacific Northwest weather, we are not done, and this will definitely get used. You are so thoughtful. That is really cute. Look at this. That is stinking cute. Where did you get these? I feel like they're like school supplies, like from Dollar Tree or something. I haven't seen these. These are adorable. Look at the pop. God, I love popcorn a lot. A lot. I love popcorn a lot. <laughs> it's one of my favorite snacks. Um, and when I go to the movie, like I won't eat. And so I can have the popcorn there. Yeah. Oh God, that's cute. That's a really cute notepad. I have had some, I think that are a little bit bigger, but it like was, this is super cute. You got some cute stuff. You guys, I say this all the time. Happy Meal is exactly this. It is like, if you have a pad of paper and you want to share one piece of it with someone, it, it's just, it's stuff like you already have maybe. I mean, this is the exception maybe. Um, but this is so thoughtful. I, I really love that. Look at this. This is school supplies. This is super cute. I, um, I get the opportunity to use school supplies now. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The buck and the deer. I just saw a beautiful deer as I was pulling into my house. 
look at that. I haven't seen any out back. However, um, I can tell you they come because I put apples out for them every day and they're gone very, very quick. Oh, look at that. It's a little girl hedgehog dressed up as a bunny. Oh my God, that is so stinking cute. This feel, oh, it's like felt. That's really cute. Oh my gosh. That's really pretty. Look at this die cut. Is it a die cut or a sticker? Maybe it's a sticker. It feels like a sticker. It is a sticker. Um, that's bad to the bone. That's cool. <laughs> and again, it'll get used here. I could use the cloud today. We haven't had the rain, but this is really cool. Thank you. And then, look, oh, look at these fun things. Beautiful minds inspire others. Okay, I'm putting that up in my little inspo, inspo vision place up here. Life is for living. Love is for giving. Joy is for sharing. These are so sweet. And that's a quote. One of these will go in my journal. Hold on to whatever keeps you warm inside. These are the days to remember. Mm. <gasps> Adventurous calling. Of course I will go. Oh gosh, I love that. This is like one of the things I'd like to do more of is... I guess, adventure, right? And take those weekend trips or go camping or whatever, especially with summer. Because I have the summer off, folks, because I work at a school now. And no, I'm not picking up a summer job. Um, that is so cool. And that's been my whole goal. Like when I go to PT every week and um, work on things at the gym or whatnot, this is my goal. And when I work with clients on things, the goal is to be able to say yes when you want to, Right. Um, I want my body and my mind and my emotions and my relationships and everything to be in a place where I can say yes. And so they're like, do you want to go hiking? Yes. Like why? Cause I can, my knee is strong enough. My shoulder's strong enough. Like whatever it is. Right. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That is deep. Like that one, that's a deep one for me. I love that. Um, and look at this one. So these are like, um, obviously from the same, this is cool. I haven't seen these. These are really neat. Super, super cool. Oh my gosh, this is just so thoughtful. Robin, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words and your thoughtfulness in in creating. I don't actually want to use this. I, I kind of want to make a vision board almost or something. I'm not. Yeah, we, we have to think. I have to think what, what needs to be created because I have energy around it. And so I need to figure out what what I need to do. So um, super, super kind words. And I really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much. Okay. So funny, you should mention a haul, Robin, because I did a haul today. Now, this is not going to be a haul video where I make a journal out of it because I still haven't finished my other ones and I can't get another bucket. That's my rule. I can't get another bucket to make a journal until I make the journals from those hauls. Um, I'm in the middle of number three. I haven't posted it yet. So I'll probably start posting that soon. Actually, let me know that if you guys are watching this and you're interested in those haul videos, I've done two so far. As I, as I create those, let's say it takes four videos. Would you like me to release those kind of like close in order, if you will, by, by close in order, I mean kind of sequentially. Cause like video number, journal number three I, I have two videos for already. Well, I have the haul, which was literally a year and a half, two years ago. Now at this point, I don't even know. Um, and then I have, I've started the journal, right? So I have two. Would you like for me to release those kind of like as I do them? Or would you like, um, would you like me to post it like every Friday and say part one, part two, part three of this particular journal I'm working on? Um, and that being said, like, I, I would have to finish the journal right before then I could post it one, two, three, but it would be like every Friday you would know that is coming out or every Wednesday or like whatever. Um, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Cause I've been kind of kicking that around a little bit. Let me show you what I hauled today. Now what's today you ask? Well, today is um, a Friday. It is the end of my spring break week and I've spent the week literally at home I did get journal time in, but I've been taking care of business. No, all my business is not done. However, my husband left this morning for work um, to go away for like, 
at least a week, probably two. And I realized one, I have no food in the house. I'm not exaggerating. (laughs) And two, I haven't had a Friday to myself, like where just like to myself, um, in a very long time. I used to have Fridays off. And so, um, I'm like, I'm going to go treat myself to a day where I just do me. Right. And so I'm like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the thrift store. I haven't been to the thrift store, like just to thrift, just to go. Right. I haven't been to the thrift store, um, in a very long time. Now we've dropped off stuff and maybe made a quick stop or bought stuff for the party. You know, I've, I think I've shared with you, but anyway, I went today. I went and I hauled some stuff. So let me show you what I got. Um, so I went to three different thrift stores. I went to St. Vincent's And I went to Goodwill and I went to, um, a little local one. Okay. Um, and I found, and I found some goodies. So first of all, let me just say my day started off great because I went to Dutch boys, Dutch brothers for coffee. If you guys don't have a Dutch brothers and you are driving by somewhere and you see a Dutch brothers, just stop, just do yourself the favor and stop. They literally are like the nicest coffee shop you've ever been to. It is like their mission to spread joy. (laughs) And they're just the sweetest people. So anyway, I pull up, the guy greets me. He's just super happy that you're there. Um, I order my coffee and, and we don't, I rarely go there. Um, I pull up to the window and I see my friend who I used to work out with there. And I'm like, what? And we like did a double take. I'm like, what are you doing here? She's like, I just started here. I'm like, no way. So we caught up very quickly. It was a great way to start my day. And she gave me a sticker and I don't know what to do with it. Like I want to put it in my journal, but I also want to put it on my water bottle. So I can't, I need to make a decision. That's a, that's a life decision that I have to make. Okay. So then I went to Goodwill. No, that's not true. I went to Vincent DePaul's first. Now, Uh, The first thing I found was these and they're little photo albums. And you would think after my recent photo album debacle, I can tell you where the photo albums are. They're all at Goodwill because no one's apparently photographing and putting things in photo albums anymore. So they're all at Goodwill. I did not, however, find one that held 500 plus photos, which I needed last week. So my project is amazing. But excuse me, Um, I did find these now. I found four. I wish they would have been matching, um, but they're not. And they were 50 cents each, which, uh, I guess I'm cheap. You guys, I am cheap. So I'm like "Mm, 50 cents. That's $2, but I got them. Let me show you what I use them for. And I'm going to use them to kind of organize more stuff and I might swap out some stuff. So here is, so here's the other one I bought. It was also 50 cents. Okay. Now, and you can tell Um, it may or may not be bigger. I actually don't know, but, um, it's definitely a wider seam binding, right? Like, but this is where I keep my dies over by my die cutting. Now for me, this has a couple qualifiers. Um, it has to be top loading. Okay. I don't like the ones that side load either way. Cause I can't get my hand in this way. I feel like putting stuff in and out this way is weird. And this way, I feel like stuff's going to fall out. So because they're like metal, they're not just a paper photograph. So I definitely need a top folding top, um, openings. So I went ahead and grabbed these. Um, I may like change out and use these instead of one big one, just because of the container I have it in. I'm not too sure, but I also have more that aren't in here, um, that I would like to put into boxes. So I'm going to you know the deal, audition, uh, some of these and figure out, right, how I want to do that. Now, my other thought is, um, I may, I may, I'm thinking about, and I don't think it'll work, but my other thought was I might, um, try to transition this hunk of love somehow I just, I mean, I, it's crazy. I also have, um, other die cuts that I could put in here. Now the die cuts, I, I, I'm not too sure about because I don't particularly see it's, I'm I'm not too sure. I want to stick my hand in here. Like it's very thin and I, I don't know about that. So we'll just see. But when you have like a metal, 
Um, okay, does that make you sad? It makes me a little sad right now. Okay, when you have a like a metal thing and it's it's sturdy enough, um, I have to get it out of its plastic for it to fit in here. But so we'll just see. We'll see. This is much whoa throwing stuff. This is much better um, quality. This plastic. This is a better made book than this and these. This is very thin plastic. So we'll see. It was two bucks. I know, I know, I know. Um, but I definitely need more because I have, you know, stuff. So I needed to figure out and I saw them and I thought, well, we might as well give them a try. And, you know, if you store, maybe it's better to have a couple smaller things than one giant thing. Right. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. So that's the first thing. That's the first thing I got. Okay. Let's see what else. Okay. Um, oh, you guys. Okay. Well, first of all, I got this little ditty. It was 10 cents and it's so cute. It's a little tiny journal and it's pocketudes. Never heard of pocketudes, but very cute. Frederick. Frederick is the founder and the pro the proceeds benefit mental health um, nonprofits. So winning. Okay. Uh, it says as a recovering negative thinker, I never imagined a life of seeing the cup half full for many years. I struggled with anxiety, panic attacks, and dark self-defeating thoughts. I was my own worst, um, arch enemy and the self hostility only created more suffering sadness. So he talks about, um, why he created this little journal. Now I personally think this journal is pretty powerful and I really actually like it. Um, this is a lot of what I do in work. Okay. So whether, whatever. Okay. But so it's talking about great, um, gratitude, what I feel and why today's act of kindness, um, and reflections and gratitude is a frequency of feeling and a state of being. I just, I love it. There's little quotes in here and every day you put what you're grateful for, um, what you feel and why act of kindness. I, I think it's amazing. So I don't know how I'm going to use it. Um, I already basically do this in my journaling. Um, oh, and you can discover more at pocketudes.com. Uh, and then it has a self-care checklist and it says, what give you, what gives you happiness? Write it down smile, laugh, move your body, drink more water, practice deep breathing. I just love it. Engage with your community, be with people. I love it. So super cute for 10 cents. All right. This one kind of killed me. I'm not going to lie. Um, look at this journal. Now I have, I have two of these journals. One I bought and one was a gift because I was too cheap to buy the other one. We bought them at an art show here in town. They were, um, handmade, right? Leather, whatever. I think they were overpriced, honestly, cause they were at the art show. Cause I think, I think you can get it online. I'm not too sure, but anyway, it needs a little cleaning. It has some spider, whatever in here, but it is a leather bound, um, journal. The, this one is from essential ink. So I don't know. It was, it was $2. <laughs> It was $2. Um, I, yes, I smelled it. Even if you, um, even one, two, three, it has five beautiful signatures of like watercolor paper in here. Really nice linen something paper, maybe not watercolor. I don't know. Um, I mean, there's no way it's not worth $2. So I understand that I don't need this. I also understand, quite frankly, I haven't used the other journals. And part of the reason I haven't used them is because they cost so freaking much money. And I don't know what to use it for. Like, I don't want to start this journal in, let's say, my morning journaling and then decide it's going to be an art journal and then decide it's going to be a whatever journal and like be frustrated that it's five different things. And I can tell you right now for $2, I don't care because I can rip these signatures out. If I want, I can just unsew this signature, um, and use this paper, which is stunning. Um, purple's not my color. However, 
I felt like it was calling to me because I'm doing purple this month for a month of the military child. So, um, and I don't normally uh, go for a um, journal that has like locks and like stuff on it. I don't know, like a flap and a thing. And a, this is a lot for me. Um, but it spoke to me and it came home with me. So I'm actually looking for it. I might try my morning process pages in this or I, I just, which is weird. I normally do my process journaling on lined paper, but for whatever reason, um, I don't know. I, I loved it. So, okay. So that came home with me. So that's like $4 so far. All right. I did buy something for my office, which, um, I'm hoping will work and I'm just not, that doesn't involve this video. Okay. Let me get my bag up here. All right. I bought some stuff because I want to make some piles for a couple things that I'm working on. I found this book and it is, um, a guide to edible plants in the Pacific Northwest. Um, yeah, that's fun. However, I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for the artwork. And every page, although this flower goes to this this wording, right? But every page is a hand-drawn flower. Is that not cool? Now it is glued in, so it's not um, as I as I take it apart and deconstruct it, it will mean tearing out the pages like that. But are they not amazing? So yeah, as I push it flat, you can see the glue spine breaks. I mean, it's, oh God. I was kind of excited when I found it. It was like a dollar. However much a small paperback was at that thrift store. It is copyright 1974. So love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So that's a fun book. Oh, I also bought a meal planner because I need a meal planner. Uh, like I need a hole in my head. I've tried 22 different ones. I'm sure, I'm sure this one will be the one that sticks. But um, I got to get back on planning. And I, I just feel like if I have it somewhere visual, I'll just leave this on the kitchen counter, quite honestly. Um, it's kind of nice because this is a shopping list at perforates off and you can just take this to the market or if you go to the market still, I don't know. Um, on the back, it does have an expense tracker. I don't know if I'll use that as much, but so I bought a meal planner. Uh, it was $3. I, mm, I think it was $3. It says $3. I can't remember the color, but it was not pink. So we'll go with $3. Okay. Okay. This is fun. Oh, this is okay. So this one I got half off. Um, and I thought this was super cute. Uh, it's called Dev's Doodle Company. Never heard of her, but Dev, whoever you are, I thought it was cute. So I bought this to, you know, send out in happy mail because look how stinking cute it is. I would normally keep this, but um, I don't know if I can get that sticker off. If I can get the sticker off, I'll keep it. I cannot. Okay, so this whole thing's going in the trash. Look how cute this notepad is. Now, honestly, um, I use a planner at work. As if you've been here, you know, I went through a whole thing about choosing the perfect planner for work because I have detailed notes of how my day needs to be documented. But... Um, this I could definitely see like on my desk actually with just reminders on it of like what has to happen in my day before I transfer it to my planner of like specific times or whatnot. Little thing here. Little, I think it's st stinking cute. Uh, there's only like 500 sheets though. So I don't know how long that will last me um, besides the rest of my life. So I, I will be sending these out in happy mail, which is why I actually got it. But I do think it's useful. Like I would actually use it. All right. So that's that. Let's get that out of the way. There's one other thing in here that kind of matches that that I was going to show you. Oh, yeah, here. Uh, same little company, again, half off because um, it was a green sticker day. And so we won't worry about saving this plastic. Um, but look how cute this one is. 
I love this so much. And again, I just got it to send out in Happy Mail. But adorable little doodle pad with the date, a little box, today's mood, reminders, a to-do list, notes, and gratitude, always gratitude. And productivity measurement. I crushed it. I did okay. And maybe tomorrow. <gasps> you guys, look at that. Is that not stinking cute? I thought it was cute. All right. I have like three more things, I think. Okay. Here's another thing I got. Four more things. Okay. This one I also got to send out. Um, I'm going to make some bundles or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I just thought these were cute. I'm going to keep, um, I don't know what it is. So if you know, please let me know, but look at this paper inside. Isn't that fun? I, I don't know if it's just a notebook or if this is, I literally, I don't know. I think it's like just a graph notebook, but I thought it was really fun and the paper's fun. And I got, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine for two bucks. Yeah. So I thought those were um, something new and different to use. So we'll be taking one of those apart and putting the rest out in the garage. So that was fun. They're not super happy about going back in the bag, but please. Mm, sorry about the crinkling. Okay, that's that. All right, and I think I got one more thing before I show you my last things because the last things are fun. Okay, this I thought was super fun. It is a um, like library card kit and I've bought one of these before, a little different, actually a library card kit, I think. Um, this is, I guess, a tag kit. So let's open it. It's a gift tags, it's 50 tags. And so I just thought, um, again, I'll keep some and give some, right? Oh my gosh, so cute. But <laughs> if, if you want to just take a moment and look at this box, it's super cool. And it has a pretty sturdy um, thing on it. All right, we'll work on getting this off. And then fun tags. There's butterflies. They have a front, a gift for and from. That's cute. And there's like a egg robin's egg maybe or something um i'm sorry it's a black billed cuckoo egg in case you already knew that i did not so adorable this is a lovely piece of coral super pretty just lines on the back and then this is um, a leaf Oh, that's super sticky. It literally just says leaf. Yeah, to and from. And then this is a beautiful seashell. A gift for and from. Oh, look at that. Yep. So that goes like that. And then some ribbon, some matching ribbon. So, um, yeah. I thought those were fun. So we'll be popping those in Happy Mail. Okay, I got two more things, and this is how I know my brain is um, in a creative zone, okay? I saw, now you've seen me buy something like this before, okay? And I haven't used it yet, so I am conscious of that. I am conscious of that, but I saw this one. I was like, oh, but this one I'll make. <laughs> this is a giant pillowcase, Um I don't know. It does. I don't know the brand or whatever, and it does not matter, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, well, first of all, it could be like a floor mat. It's a king, extra king size. Um, is that not glorious? It is so soft. Like if I had a bed that 
I felt like this would go on, I would have bought them for my bed. It is so soft. I love the quilting. Um, I'm going to make a journal out of it. I'm probably going to make four journals out of it. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to use it for journaling because um, this is fabulous. I'll at least cut it up and maybe someone else can make a journal. out of it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing when I say I'm going to make a journal out of it. I literally don't know how to do that, but I will figure something out. I mean, it is so cool and it is like already lined, if you will. So I... I just envision this as a, like an amazing journal. It is so pretty, you guys. And it's so soft. I, um, I can't, yeah, I can't. I'm over, I, I love this so much. Okay, so I was all excited about the pillowcase and making a journal, which I've never done, but I'm going to do it and just whatever, okay? I was so excited about it. And then something caught my eye and it was like, come look at me and touch me. And I was like, okay. And so I, I did. And I was like, I will make you into a journal also. And I will show it to you. And it might be my favorite thing I've ever bought. And I may not make it into a journal. Um, it's another pillowcase. <laughs> And I'm, I'm kind of in love. I'm, I, I may not make it into a journal. I may just like squeeze it like this. I may just use it as a lovey. Um, I cannot, it's a pillowcase. It was half off of $3, which is how I talked myself into it. Cause I was like, girl, you've lost your mind. That is like the ugliest big bird looking thing, but I love it. I love it. And, um, it deserves, it deserves, I mean, I could just put another pillow in it and give it a new, a new home, but God knows where I'd put this. Um, I, I love it. I, if they had four, I would have bought four. I'm not joking. They, it's so soft. And I, like I said, I may just use it as a lovey and just squeeze it. Like when I'm stressed at work or something, maybe the kids, I mean, it is, But can you even imagine? Can you imagine as a journal? This is not, I mean, this is not the right, you know what I'm saying? But like, oh my gosh, can you imagine? And no, I wouldn't make it this big. And again, no, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm here for it. I'm here for a creative um trial and error. And I absolutely love it. <laughs> you guys tell me if I'm nuts. Just tell me your thoughts on it. Some of you are better sewers. I'm not a great sewer. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm not a perfectionist. And like I, but I love it so much. And it spoke to me. It spoke to my soul when I was there. And, and it was half off. So I'm like, well, duh. I don't even know. It was a dollar fifty. It was a dollar fifty. And even if I just love on it, it's worth a dollar fifty to to just touch and love. So um let me know your thoughts. <laughs> let me know if you think I'm nuts. All right. So that's it for me, you guys. I've caught you all up. Um yeah, thank you. Thank you again, sweet Robin, for the very sweet happy mail and and thoughtfulness and and very kind words. I mean, I could, I'm going to cut the tag off right now because it's like, it does not need a tacky tag on it. Look at it in its glory. Oh, um, I mean, I could just use it as a mat, right? We could frame it. And then <laughs> this is my hippie child. Like I, oh my God, I can't explain how much I love it. You guys, it's so soft. Um, yes, it's tacky. I hear you. It's okay. It's okay. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'll keep you posted on how I kind of use the new photo albums and whatnot. And, um, and I'll take my stuff out to the happy mail table and see if I can get some happy mails out. That's really my goal, honestly, this weekend. So, um, before I go back to work on Monday. So anyway, thanks for hanging out, you guys. I hope you're well. Um, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day. And I hope you find something today that inspires you.